Hi guys, Snow and Over Forever here, and um, this is the very first video of my new rat channel, along with my Briar Horse channel. Um, I have had rats in the past, but unfortunately the two girls I had recently passed away. Um, but come the first of the year, I'm going to be getting five, count them, one, two, three, four, five, five new ratties. This is going to be the most I've ever had. Um, and because of that, I pretty much had to do a rat overhaul. Um, I've got a thing here that is stockpile of rat things. Um, and I also got a new cage. Um, the cage I had before just barely fit two rats, so I needed a new cage. And this is the Midwest Critter Nation, and this is the double. So it has both units on it. Um, there is the Critter Nation, and there is the Ferret Nation. Ferret Nation is not suitable for rats, as the bar spacing is an inch, where this one is a half inch, so even your baby ratties won't be able to get out. Um, I did want to do this little video on the Critter Nation, because I heard that it was pretty much impossible to put together. It's a very good cage, best cage in fact for rats, but the worst part was getting it open. Yes, I can see how that is true because this was a bugger and I did break a blade on my knife, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to show you guys an easy way to open this cage though. Um, I just got it, so I have not tried putting it together or anything yet. I have only gotten this far. My hand, my heavy duty blade here. Um, so you have this box, okay? This box is huge. It's like four feet tall, it's two feet wide, easily weighs a hundred pounds. Easily. It took two people to actually get it in my house, okay? Um, it, it is a massive, it is a massive box. Um, so what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna show you how I open this. Because everyone complained about getting the box open as being the hardest part about these cages. So this piece, I already have it partially open here. This piece was in my fat, and then this piece was on top, like this, okay? So as you can see, well, probably can't see now, it's got these freaking huge metal staples in this, in both pieces, because there's ones here too. Everyone said that the hardest thing was getting these out. You don't actually have to get them out, and I'm kind of surprised I'm one of the first people to make a video on this, because... That's just the first thing I thought of when I thought of opening it. Oh, I'm not messing with those. I'm just going to cut it. So get a really sharp knife or a box cutter because this is a thick box. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut along here. Three sides, okay? And it doesn't matter as long as it's the two small sides and one large side. And you can pull it back. Now, it'll only pull back so far because it is attached to this piece. So then what you do, I'm going to prop this open with my knee here. Then you do the same thing, you cut along the sides. This part should already be open since you cut along it here the first time. But if it's not, you cut in the same place again for the second one. And just pull really hard, pop. It'll come right off. Just like that. Okay. Now, you've got it partially open, and you didn't have to worry about those staples. So... The next thing I did, because it's not just going to pull out, you know, like it's not just going to slide right out of there. Um, what I did was I cut along here, and I cut along here. Boom! Opens up. Now you can lift all your pieces out, and it should be good to go. So I'm going to put this together and get back to you guys on how it went. Alright? I'll see you guys in a bit.